Hi, in this video we're going to discuss how computers uh, represent data and instructions using the binary system. So um, computers store digital data using the binary number system to represent items of data and instructions. And the binary number system involves only two digits to represent all numbers. So um, it only requires the digits 0 and 1. And the medium that we use to store data on can um, determine how these digits are represented. So um, three common types of media are electronic, magnetic, and optical. Electronic media, like RAM, um, uses electrical states of on and off to represent the digits 1 and 0. And magnetic media, um, such as uh, disks, hard disks, represents data as magnetic spots. So if we represent a 1 mag magnetically, we can magnetize the spot. Um, to represent a zero and the spot is left unmagnetized. And then optical media like fiber optic cables uses pulses of laser light to represent ones and no light to represent zeros. So in order for us to uh, understand what happens inside a computer, we need to be able to convert numbers from our decimal system, which is the number zero to nine. Um, so it's a base 10 system because there's 10 digits in it, zero to nine. We need to be able to convert from those decimal numbers into binary form, which is used by the computer. And binary is base 2, so there's only two digits, 0 and 1, or on and off, um, whereas 1 is on and 0 is off. Okay, And we can use the fact that each digit in the binary number system represents a power of 2. And the powers increase from right to left, so if you have a look on the screen at the table, there's a whole heap of numbers there from right to left. So there are 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. Well, how do we get those numbers? Uh, well, basically, we have 2 to the 0, which is uh, should be 1, and we have uh, 2 to the 1, which is 2. We have 2 to the 2, which is 4, 2 to the 3, which is 8, 2 to the 4, which is 16, 2 to the 5, which is 32, 2 to the 6, which is 64, and 2 to the 7, which is 128. So that's how we get the numbers there, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. You'll notice that there's 8 boxes here, so we'll be able to store eight bits or eight binary digits and when we have eight bits together that forms one byte okay um, so we're going to convert a number a decimal number into binary so let's just clear the screen the number that we'll convert um, we'll convert 74 Okay, and we can do it using this table that I've made. So, firstly, we can ask the question: Does 128 go into 74? Okay, so does 128 go into 74? The answer is no. So we put a zero for no under the 128, and then we move on to 64. Does 64 go into 74? Yes. So we put a one for yes under the 64 and we're left with a remainder of 10 so 74 minus 64 is 10 so we can cross out 74 and we now have a remainder of 10 we move on to 32 and do we ask does 32 go into 10 no so we put a zero underneath it does 16 go into 10 no so we put a zero under that as well does 8 go into 10 yes it does so we put a one under the 8 and we cross out the 10, and we have a remainder of 2, because 10 minus 8 is 2. Then we move on to the 4. Does 4 go into 2? Nope. So put a 0 under that. Does 2 go into 2? Yes, it does. So we cross, uh, we put a 1 under the 2, we cross that 2 out, and we're left with nothing. We're left with 0. So then we ask, does 1 go into 0? No. So we can put a 0 under that. So, 74 
decimal number in binary is equal to 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. Okay? And the number on the right is the most significant bit. The number on the left is the least significant bit. So if we have um, eight digits here, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, it's the same as representing it in seven digits, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, because that digit on the left is the least significant bit, and it's a zero, so it's it still represents the same number 74 in decimal, okay? Um, but this is our answer in 8-bit eight um, binary, or one byte, okay? Now, we've just converted that decimal number of 74 into uh, binary. But what if we want to do the reverse process? So we want to convert a one byte or eight binary digits into a decimal number. Well, let's just go back and clear all of this. Okay. Oops. All right. So we've got the binary number of 01001010. And we want to convert that to a decimal number. Well, we can look at all the ones. Okay. So we've got a one here, a one here, and a one here. The first one is under the 64. The second one is under the 8. And the third one is under the 2. If we add 64 plus 8 plus 2, we get 74. And that's how we can convert from binary back to decimal. Okay, so in this video we talked a little bit about how computers use binary to store data and instructions and we've also been able to convert a number from a decimal number to binary and binary back to a decimal number. Okay, um, what I'd recommend doing is try out a few different numbers for yourself. Try converting different decimal numbers to um, binary and then back again to decimal to check that it's correct. And then you can go on the web and download an ASCII table, which will show all the different keys on your keyboard, like uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, symbols, and how all of those um, symbols or characters that are available on the computer are actually represented in binary. So you can see um, how each, each character that you type in onto the computer is represented in binary. Okay, thanks for watching.